This is a, a story of a, a three-year-old who walked into church with her mother, and she looked around and saw a, a group of religious sisters in habit and veil. <clears throat> and, and she tugged at her mother's sleeve and asked, Look, Mommy, are they the Blessed Virgin Mary? Well, women religious are an image of Mary, and Mary is an image of the church. Okay. And, and actually, in today's gospel of the wedding feast at Cana, no mention is really made of the couple to get married, but rather our Lord and Our Lady are the focus in, in that gospel. And that's biblical code. Okay. It, it's kind of the... That the point is that Jesus Christ is the true bridegroom from which every other bridegroom is in a reflection. And the church is his true bride. The church is personified in that gospel by Mary. Mary is the perfect icon of the church, the perfect picture of the church. Uh, on Calvary, Jesus consummates his marriage to the church by giving his life for her on the cross. Okay? Um, and so the little girl was right. Religious sisters are the Blessed Virgin Mary. In fact, our Lord himself said, whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is mother, brother and sister and mother to me. Okay. Um, so Our Lady, um, the, the Virgin Mary, is the first religious woman, the uh, first woman religious, and the model for all others. And she's the model for like the entire church. Now, in, if you go back to the beginning um, of our Lord's life, nine years old, there was that um, finding of Jesus in the temple. And when Mary and Joseph find Jesus in the temple, our Lord tells them that he had to be about his father's business. And Mary took these words uh, and, and pondered them in her heart. Now at Cana, it's Mary who takes the initiative. Okay. She takes the initiative in helping our Lord fulfill his mission from the Father. She initiates his public ministry. Um, they have no wine. Okay. Um, and, and do whatever he tells you are her words. Okay. And, and so our Lord says, my hour has not yet come. But as Mar at Mary's prompting, his public ministry begins with his first public miracle. Okay? And, and that, that points to the role of Mary in the church now. Uh, Mary has been described as God's catalyst. Mary hastens the coming of God's kingdom. Okay? A, a, a catalyst is something that speeds up a reaction. It's like enzymes in your stomach. Okay. They, they digest the food more quickly. Ultimately, the food would break down, but it would take months or years. But in the presence of those enzymes, those catalysts, the reaction can occur in, in minutes or seconds, okay. in, in a much shorter time. And, and God's will is the reaction for which Mary is the catalyst. Uh, at Mary's intercession, God's will flourishes. God's kingdom um, is hastened, it, it, his coming. Uh, like we say, in that gospel, our Lord's words to Mary are, my hour has not yet come. The miracle cannot take place. But in the chemistry of spirituality, at Mary's intercession, the catalyst is present, and the miracle does take place. At her intercession, that kingdom flourishes in the world. Um, Mary does not alter God's will any more than a catalyst alters a chemical reaction. Rather, God wills that the catalyst Mary be present uh, so that it, this process might be hastened, more accomplished more quickly. And Mary herself remains unchanged. At Nazareth, on Calvary in heaven, Mary's autobiography is, be it done unto me according to your word. And from Cana 
to Pentecost to the present day, her words to us remain, do whatever he tells you.